This tutorial is going to demonstrate how to do AIC and BIC model selection for logistic regression in R. The AIC model selection estimates the quality of each model relative to the other models and provides a single number score that can be used to determine which of the models is the best fit to the data. Overall, a lower AIC score is better, but AIC scores can only be used to be compared to other AIC scores. AIC works by evaluating the model's fit on the data and adding a penalty term for the complexity of the model, and this is similar to regularization. Compared to the BIC method, which will be introduced later, the AIC statistic penalizes complex models less, so this means that it may select more complex models to be the best model. The biggest advantage of using AIC is that your models do not need to be nested. And what this means is the models do not have to have parameters, which are a subset of the parameters of another model. The AIC is defined for logistic regression as the below, where N equals the number of examples in the data set, LL equals the log likelihood of the model, which is a measure of how likely the observed data will be produced given a model, and k equals the number of parameters in the model. The assumptions of using AIC are that the same data is used between models, that the models are measuring the same outcome variable, and that the sample size is infinite. This last assumption is because AIC converges to the correct answer with an infinite sample size. However, a large enough sample size is good enough to approximate. However, if you have a small sample size, you can use the adjusted formula AICC, which adds a correction term that converges to the AIC answer for large samples, but gives a more accurate answer for smaller samples. As a rule of thumb, always using AICC is safest, but this correction should especially be used when the ratio of your data points and the number of parameters is less than 40. Once you have your set of AIC scores, you can pick the model with the lowest score to be your best model. But you do need to remember that AIC scores themselves are actually a probabilistic ranking of the models that are likely to minimise information loss. So it may be best to compare them. You can compare them using Delta AIC, which gives you an indication of the level of support you have for each of your remaining models um, against your best model. Delta AIC is calculated by using the formula AIC minus min AIC, where AIC is the score for the candidate model and min AIC is the score for the best model, which is the model with the lowest score. As a rule of thumb, the following rules are applied. So delta AIC values less than two indicate that your candidate model is almost as good as the best model. So this is why um, sometimes you may not always want to take the model with the lowest score um, completely because your other models may be almost as good. Delta values between four and seven indicate considerably less support for the candidate model compared to the best model and values more than 10 indicate that there is no support for the candidate model being the best model. To do AIC in R, you can use this general formula where object is your fitted model object, where there exists a log likelihood method to extract the corresponding log likelihood or an object inheriting from this class. Dot 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 is the option to add any more fitted models that you may make and k is the penalty per parameter. In R, the default is k equals two, and this is for the classic AIC. As I've previously introduced, another method of selection is BIC. BIC is similar to AIC, however, it penalizes the model more for its complexity. And this means that more complex models will have a worse, so a larger score, and that means it will be less likely to be significant. And it does this because when fitting models, it's possible to increase the likelihood of finding a significant result by adding parameters. So this may result in overfitting. 
BSE also differs from ASE in that it considers the number of observations in the formula. Overall, BIC scores are likely to be higher than ARC scores. BIC is calculated for the logistic regression using the below formula, where log is the base equal the natural logarithm, LL is the log likelihood of the model, N is the number of examples in the data set, and K is the number of parameters in the model. Just like ARC, the score is defined above is minimized so this means that the model with the lowest BIC is selected. To do BIC in R, you can use this general formula, where again, object is the fitted model object, and dot 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 gives you the options to add more fitted model objects. So now we are going to go through how to do AIC and BIC in R for logistic regression. Firstly, we need to install and load the Titanic package, as this is where we will get our data from. To install the package, you just need to type install.packages and then in brackets and quotation marks, Titanic. And then to load it, you just need to type library and then in brackets, Titanic. Remember that you only have to install a package on R once and your environment will remember it. But each time you want to use it, you do need to load it in using the library function. We are going to use the Titanic train data set from this tutorial, which is in the Titanic package. We can view this data by using the view function simply by typing view and then in brackets Titanic underscore train. Remembering that view has a capital V. The picture on the right is what the data set looks like. And for this tutorial, we're going to use age, sex, fare and class as our independent variables and survived as our dependent variables. Because we are doing a logistic regression, as you can see, survived is coded as one and zero. So one means survived and zero means died. So we have our binary dependent variable, which is an assumption of a logistic regression. So now we are ready to make some logistic regression models. To keep things simple to start with, we are going to make a separate model for each of our independent variables. But the formula to make these models is consistent throughout. So M1 to M4 is what we want to call our models. This is simply just a variable name. GOM tells R we want to do a regression. Survived is our dependent variable. And then either sex, age, fair or class are our independent variables. Family equals binomial is telling R that our data is binomial, which is one or zero. So the regression we want to do is a logistic regression. And finally, data equals Titanic train. So this is our data set that we are going to use and where we have pulled our variables from. So once you have run the models um, from the previous slide, we can commute the, compute the AIC and BIC scores using the formulas mentioned previously. As you can see, in both cases, M4 has the lowest score. So this means the best predictor of whether someone survived or not was passenger class. You can also refer to the previous slides if you want to compare the models using Delta AIC. We can also use AIC and BIC scores to compare more complex models, so models with more than one predictor variable. Below are some examples of different combinations of the predictor variables that you can compare but you can also create your own models. Remember that the more complex models do get penalised using these model selection techniques, particularly by the BIC. So this means that the more complicated the model, the less likely it might be the best fit to the data. And here are the results of the models I just gave as an example. In both cases, M7 had the lowest score. So this means that age and sex were better than passenger class and age and passenger class and sex in predicting whether a person survived or not. Finally, here's the full script I use for this tutorial um, that you can use and have a go yourself. But remember that you can create all different combinations um, of models with different independent variables. <laughs>